welcome back everyone welcome back to the channel this is close to the sun uh, it's been out a couple of years now but it was giving me some serious bioshock vibes uh just looking at the logo looking at some of the, the settings the surroundings uh so yeah i thought let's give it a go uh like i say major bioshock vibes i love the first bioshock hopefully this is just as good so in the spirit of bioshock would you kindly relax would you kindly like and subscribe and kindly enjoy? Let's get in there. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that, and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you. If only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? Okay, here we go. We are on a ship looking at this here. Nice little room. Anything in our luggage? No. Rose Archer. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing. Okay then. The Helios. The Sting One Click Guest. We will shortly be approaching the Helios. For safety reasons, we ask that you enter the observation cabin located atop the shuttle. Docking. Once all passengers are secured. Thank you. Hope the docking works better than these automated announcements. So we've got some kind of newspaper here. La Petite Parisian. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios. Alleged kidnapping of prominent British mathematician has the world on edge. Hand him over, says the Prime Minister. Wardenclyffe denies wrongdoing, claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. International group of diplomats rally to calm rising tensions. Okay. Is this something for us too? Yeah. Helios, the eighth wonder of the world. Conquering new scientific frontiers under the guidance of Nikola Tesla himself. Did I say Nikola? Yes, it is an N. <laughs> Invent and innovate without artificial limitations of capital or politics. Okay. It does sound like Bioshock. Just in that way that you come, and come on board this place, invent, do whatever you want without the politics or... Presumably ethics and morals as well. Service. Locked. Okay, let's go through this one. Oh my god, up to the pouring rain here. Let's get the doors quick. There's a little green light there, let's head that way for this door. Pretty stormy out there. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Press button to commence docking procedure. This big red button here.
Okay, board the Helios and establish communication with Ada. Something to do with Hermes as well though, can we pick this lamp up? No. This is uh, pretty quiet here, there's nothing, nobody waiting for us, no welcome party. Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. It looks like there's been a wreck here already. Here we go. the tools of tomorrow the Helios, a scientific endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself just want to quickly explore back here is there anything up on here I can pick up nope nothing here it looks great it looks really really good this Is that somebody over there? Oh! Okay. It was somebody. <laughs> Can we get in the ticket booth? Or whatever the hell this is. Seems like I'll have to let myself in. The ship rat. Active spy. Isolate and eliminate. Oh, we're missing something. Well, there it is. Are these just major cities that have got the lights next to them? Must be. Or the lights on them, should I say? Oh, that's on its way out as well. Something has happened here, clearly, hasn't it? Let's get in these doors here. How can we read this little sign here? Warden Cliff, a company distributing electricity to half of the world and yet still hungers for that other half. So what's this tale of corporate greed? Oh, look at this, you are here. Right at the very, very back. Football pitch. Machine hall. Okay. What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Okay. What... Who or what has been quarantined? Uh, let's go... Esteemed guest. Doesn't look like I can actually get down the other way. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing 
nothing much in Oh my god! The hell was that? Okay. Okay, can we get in this room anyway? There's, oh, there's blood on the floor. Great start. Can we get in here? Nope. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's broken. There's not a single soul about here. There's Tesla. Blood. Ah, mm. it's paid. Elevator <laughs> up ahead. Disable the two security overrides. Okay. Doors locked. Okay, this must be open here. Excellent. for the warm welcome. Now what have you done with my sister? Vapor. Incoming threat. Matthias Ellis, Simon Alder, Ernest Hempson. Okay. You mentioned Edison there, so he's obviously protecting his inventions or whatever from Edison. Okay. One more to go. Sounds like we just triggered a bomb there. Set the fuse to go. Can't get out that way. We got a little green light here. Let's ignore the green light first. Head this way. See if there's anything for us. What's this? Some kind of. Oh. Kind of drinks thing. Don't worry. Her research holds the key to everything. Okay. Cryptic. Who is this message for? Can we go up here? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Back down. Oh, hang on. Tesla's death ray to make war impossible. Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with the threat of immeasurable damage. His newly announced weaponry is about to go up for auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship-mounted weaponry could annihilate an entire fleet. Okay. Death ray, that sounds crazy. Tesla did invent all kinds of crazy stuff and then it was all taken away by the government, supposedly. Well, I don't even think it was supposedly, I think it just was, <laughs> I think it's a fact. Okay, there's got to be something here because it's lit up for us. Nope. French climatologist Jeanne Villepreux, seen boarding shuttle vessel to the Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Sabotage event averted as Helios shuttle avoids ramming.
don't let contaminations hold humanity back. Uh, I should actually go to that, back to that other door there quickly, I guess, shouldn't I? Is there any kind of run button to make this slightly faster? A little bit, yeah. Interrogation. <laughs> Sylvia Bishop, eighteen sixty, London, England. Uh. Oh. InfoSec just sent a tube that corroborates the dates and places. He's an Edison spy, all right. Your gut instincts were right again. It's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. This is definitely a West-West situation. Feel free to get creative. Security Officer De Rossi. So the torturing people here, presumably, then? For information. Look at that mask. Wow. Another newspaper. Nikola Tesla recruits British intelligence officer to oversee information security aboard the Helios. Yet another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. So some of these headlines are repeated here clearly. Okay. Can we take that mask? Oh, does this do anything? Oh, hang on. Oh, West West, hang on then, so, uh, can I do this? Have to be super close. On the assumption that this is West. Oh, there we go. Oh. This is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios. Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Do we take any of these? No, look at that vial of serum, whatever the hell's in there. Okay. Nothing else by the looks of it. Let's go. Can't get down there. Okay, so we're learning a little bit more about what we're dealing with here. They're obviously torturing people for information. Suspected spies. What the hell's it? <laughs> Oof! Jesus! Okay, that one got me. Whew. S. Gamgee, private office. Okay, so we can't get in there. Gotta be something down here. Hello? Whoa. Any anyone there? Well, okay. There's no crouch button. There's something. Oh yeah. Locked as well. Of order. Locked. Use ladies room, keep it clean. Locked as well. Anything else open? Let's try first. Storage room. Just an old towel. Nothing. Okay. What's this? D Harness, private office. Locked as well. Okay. Oh, look at this. All the the world there, world map with the little. Uh, looks like they're pushing them. Whoa! 
van's gone. What's that footing? Oh, look at this. So they're pushing these things about here. Like they do uh, when they're planning war and planning battles. That must be the ship there. Okay, can't do anything here. Another one. Agent inf infiltration success. Awaiting first report. Confirmed Edison agents. False flag operations in process. Progress, should I say. <laughs> What's this here? In accordance to procedure protocol A12, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. When the guest did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, and neither was any of the issued Wardenclyffe paperwork or issued clothing. Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of this dent when the vessel left Sydney, so it was possible that the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to the Helios. This is the 11th incident of a similar nature of this year alone. The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Wardenclyffe uniforms that are regularly lost could provide Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet to receive any reassurances that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from reoccurring. Security Officer De Rossi. Wow, Austria-Hungary, Ottoman Empire, Prussia. Wow, you can tell we're in the late 1800s here. A lot of places that don't exist anymore. Oh, is this, could we go west-west again here, maybe? That was absolutely blind look. Armless. Sleeper agent. Got a real thing for spies here, haven't they? That should do it. Now to find Ada. Let's go. Keycard. One keycard. Okay, let's take it. Put it in there. Here we go. Ah! Oh my god. What the hell? Hey! Who hey! Shit. That looks good. That looks really, really good. Oh my god, do I step? I don't want to step on this. Electro electrocute me? No. This is lead researcher Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... Ada! Ada! I'm really tempted to hit this, see what happens, see who comes for us. Hello? Nothing. I 
let's give this way a go here. Let's see where we're headed. More Tesla. So, we've had Hermes in the last chap chapter there. And we've got Prometheus here. So, obviously Hermes, apart from being a shocking delivery company, we've got some kind of... Oh, Queen Victoria. We've got uh, Greek gods here. Is that Einstein? That we're dealing with for the chapter names. So, trying to figure out what the link is. Look at this. This looks incredible. Trying to figure out what the link is here between the Greek gods. The Helios. Push the button. Ah, the Helios. Named after the sun itself. A source of almost unlimited power. This is a safe space for those with an open mind and a talent for the scientific arts to expand the limits of human endeavor. Away from prying eyes and cynical money men, here all that matters is progress as we reach for the very stars themselves. It is our floating home and the cradle of mankind's technological evolution. You walk within the very future of the human race and you are most, most welcome. Nothing really learned there. Let's head over here. Is that a picture of himself on a nut job builds a museum to themselves in their own house? I was literally just about to say, is that a gold statue of him on a throne or a chair? It's not egotistical whatsoever. This Tesla coil or Tesla arc, whatever it is, automatic ships. Radio waves aren't just great for transmitting sound, images, and the energy across large distances, but with this radio controlled boat, they can also be used to transport people. If you are here on the Helios, then you've already enjoyed a voyage on one of these. They are unmanned vessels controlled automatically via radio signals. Less risky in case of malfunction and subsequent drowning. Not that there was ever much risk. That is to say, you're safely here, aren't you? So, all's well. Death ray. That's what we're talking about here. Do we get this at any point? This is the machine with which I intend to rid the world of war. Once and for all. My dear death ray. It may seem contradictory that such a thing could peace, but possessed with this, none would even consider military action against us. That's the theory, at least. Okay, talking about mutually assured destruction there. The whole premise. Earthquake machine? Oh, my God. Well, I think Tesla did actually actually invent half of these things, didn't he? That's why everything was taken away. Wardenclyffe announces success. Resonance with another dimension. Only Tesla knows how it works. Well. Wow. Okay. So he's opened a portal to another dimension by the sounds of it. Let's get our jog on. Head over here. Tesla Tower. My first Tesla tower at Warden Cliff was a huge success. I always knew that my dream of free energy transmitted wirelessly across the globe would be a resounding success. What I did not foresee was the hunger of the human race. It's gluttony for more, more and more electricity. Wireless transmission of power, that's the easy part. Finding that power in the first place, now there's the tricky bit. Oh, X-ray. When I discovered the X-ray, we would have wonderful times in the lab shooting each other with the thing. Blackened silhouettes on the walls capturing a single moment of playtime for all eternity. That is, of course, until we realize that X-rays are quite, quite harmful. This machine makes the whole process much safer, though far less fun. Something else here. 
This is another newspaper. Yes, it is Tesla Tower. Amazing scheme of the great inventor to draw millions of volts of electricity through the air from Niagara Falls and then feed it out to cities, factories and private houses from the tops of the towers without wires. Interesting. Okay. Right, let's... Neon light. Wow, did he invent the first neon light? Let's head up this corridor here. Creepy ship full of scientists in the middle of the ocean. What could possibly go wrong? I think we're about to find out. Oh, some pigeons, seagulls, something. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. What the? Anyone? So they've all got those masks on that we found in the torture room, or the interrogation room as they call it. What oh, look. the hell was that? Rose? Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yes. Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis. Oh, new collectible. Little mask. Biolab's anonymity mask. Return to Warncliffe representative. Oh, I thought we... We not take it. Strange. And who's this? Is this meant to be? Is it Zeus? Chained up. It's on the menu today. Can't quite see it. Oh, drink. I think we're going to need one. Oh, it's another mask. New collectible. Ship security anonymity mask. Let's head to the other side of the bar here. Okay, we've seen those headlines. Is this the check-in desk? Oh, around the other side, typical. Oh, there we go. Current code 142. Remember that. Oh, is this it? That must be the safe. Now to get it open. Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. One. That's not. Earth. One foot. What's it doing? Two. Oh, 
There we go. So you've got a start from the outside in Faraday. Bingo. Key card. A key card for the elevator. Over we go. Come on. Yep. Right. Let's get in this lift. Can't go down there. Faraday. What was Faraday responsible for? I know that name. All right. Hope this works. of Hestia. Ugh. What is that smell? Oh look, there's some kind of uh, resonance or whatever they were calling it over there. Yet. Locked. Locked. Typical. Great. Oh. She's literally moving my mind here. Locked. Rose, did you reach my apartment district yet? Yeah. But this door <laughs> won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Ada, who or what did this? We don't, we don't know yet, but right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast you again shortly. Be careful, sis. I'll try. Wow, okay, so this is pretty grim. Time is not a river. What the hell did this to these people? Let's just quickly nip in this bit here. Do we want to turn the lights on? Just make sure we've not missed anything here yet. Just more headlines really. See anything through here? Oh, jeez. Okay. Whew. What was it? One leaf in, one thorn out? Jesus. That's punishment for not going the right way. Time is not a river. Oh, this guy's been cut in half. Bloody hell. Literally been pinned to the ceiling, cut in half. It's like that bit on Rogue One when Vader lifts the guy to the ceiling and then cuts him in half. I love, love, love that corridor scene. Way off track, way off topic, but who knows? Tesla could have, Tesla could have invented a lightsaber, can you imagine that? This guy been, no he hasn't. I thought he'd been beheaded. He's been messed up though. Okay, nothing. 
nothing down there that jumps out immediately. Yet, at least. <laughs> Service. Masquerade ball, nice. It is a little bit dark. Uh, I would love a flashlight, but I don't think I'm going to get one. Oh, a little, uh, what's that? Croquet? Is it croquet? Is that what it's called? This person's house. No, it doesn't work. Do I need a key card or hmm. who knows? No, no way to archer listed here. Didn't even look at that. Ooh. Whoa, look at this small Are resonance. Visions from the past. Do we ah, do we follow them? This is a disaster. Claims multiple universities. Okay. Do I go down? I'm calling them residents. I don't even know if that's what they're called. But let's try and get in this dude's room. Oh, it's pretty pitch black in here. That must be it. Let's see about getting some lights on in here. So, make sure where the active line light is green. If needed, use the line control button. So active line. Primary, that must be it. Active line light is green. Yes, there we go. Access code 11213. Oh, I've messed up there. Oh, I get it. Right, so one one two one three. So one one two one three green. Yes. You can proceed to flip the main switch. Ooh, there we go. Great. Has that opened up now? It has. Let's get down the stairs. Damn time. What took you? <coughs> Hello? Who is this? If you've harmed my sister, I swear to God I will break oh, every phone. Hey, hey, hey. I haven't harmed anyone, alright? My name's Aubrey, and it's really, really nice to finally talk to someone who isn't decomposing, you know? <laughs> Never mind, sorry. But you have got to get me out of here. I'm up in the engine halls, starboard side, deck 82. Kind of trapped, actually. How soon can you get here? Look, buddy, I can't make any promises. I'm going to get my sister off this thing, but if we can, we will come to get you too. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of course. Don't mind me. I'll just sit here and starve. No problem. That sounds great. You know, Benny here in the corner died during the exotic energy leak, but he still has most of his spine intact. Maybe he can lend it to you so that the next time a person in need asks for help, you will have enough of a backbone to actually do something. Ah. What the hell was all that about? Exotic energy? Is anyone still in Faraday? We need help. We're trapped in Maxwell with a severe exo leak. We try to close it off, but it just keeps spreading. Some are hallucinating shapes in the exo clouds, and it's just putting everyone on edge. We haven't heard from SecDep, so quarantine protocol is still active, but people are considering making a break for the rail tunnels. Send someone. Anyone. I keep swallowing loads here as well. I feel like I'm getting a bit nervous, or... Not too sure, but it's just swallowing. 
what does it say on here? Mist be broken. The cycle must be broken. The circle must be broken. Jesus. So, gamma, beta, let's just check. Nothing much over here. Uh, right, let's find the apartment. Not there. Rail station over there. Lambda. Nope. Sigma. Okay, so I'm guessing it's probably where all the electricity is, so we're going to have to find out a way of cutting this off. Not going through that anytime soon. Aubrey King, engineer, is that just who we've been speaking to? Okay, let's follow this cable up and turn it off. Jess, Peter used to be great at it. Spain withholding supplies. Chess boards. I wish I knew how to play chess. Just a lot of toilet paper. Well, okay. Is this going to electrocute me? Hope not. Uh, it's all the toilet paper people were hoarding in COVID, isn't it? Can I jump? Good. Yes. Space bar jump. Let's go into the service room. It won't let me in. That's strange. Um, try some of these Epsilon. Oh, there's another guy there. There's that little statue again. Guest room key cards. Key card for the wind guest suite. Okay. Fire. Nice. The obnoxiously curious 18 year old who visited last week left his belongings in the wind guest suite. Could you get in touch with our German Wardenclyffe office in order to arrange the return shipping of his things? Yes, we've received a special request for a piano to be brought to the Earth Suite. If you can get maintenance to help out with the transportation from the docks. Okay, so... We've got some suites to try and find, guest quarter. Oh, we've got Earth, Wind and Fire. Great band. Oh, Happy birthday. Oh no, welcome aboard. <laughs> hmm. Happy birthday. Whoa, bloody hell. Always, always, always believe in yourself. Because if you don't, then who will, sweetie? Lipstick. Now something just popped. So the one that popped, did that leave something on the ground? Or do I just got to run into them? No. So is there actually anything here? For me? Trying these rooms. Don't have the right kick. Oh. Okay. Well, it seems a good bet to follow this guy. Service. Ah, oh, here we go. And turn the electricity off. 
33212. So what's that for? 33212. Trying to remember that. More red paint. Albert Einstein. Kindest Helios personnel. I realise that this is I realise that this probably isn't very proper. However, after a very illuminating conversation with the lead researcher Archer, I must return to the mainland to pursue an idea. As fellow scientists, I'm sure you understand the desire to chase these rare moments of inspiration, if need be, chalk my hasty escape up to overly eager youth. I thank you for all your hospitality during my brief yet very productive stay. Danke, Albert. Nothing else here. I'm just focusing on remembering this chord here. 33212. Is this anything? Nope. nothing either. I wonder what I've missed. Have I missed anything? Now is this more blood or is it paint? Oh it's blood. Definitely blood. Oh. Hey dad, this is the photo we took before you went aboard. We're looking forward to new stories on your return. Mum says hello. Humphrey. Humphrey or kind of Jamie Lannister. Can we get down? It's not fair. We in the biology department come back with clothes either covered in blood or dirt, while the worst the physics department ever gets is some light chalk stains from writing equations all day. We need at least two laundry days to get the blood stains out. Fix this. Whatever. Archer Ada. Aha! Alpha quarter. Now I just need to find a way inside. Okay, find a key card to enter Alpha Quarter. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will Rose? do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh thank God. Yes, yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. <laughs> Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about exotic energy. I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not. Ada, what now you... is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Fine, fine. I'll be brief. Listen. We discovered quantum resonance anomalies that prove the one electron theory, meaning that every electron in the universe is the same one moving back and forth through time. So 
Naturally, we began to consider a second time dimension attached to the Euclidean analogy of Minkowski space. Now, I know Ada. what you're thinking. Ada. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada. Well, Ada. that's... Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. All of us. We tried to contain it all, but the point is we need to leave. Did you find my apartment? Yeah, but the Alpha Order is locked. We can't get in. Don't suppose you keep a spare key card somewhere. Shit. No, wait! Yes, I do! My friend Eliza has a pair. God, I, I hope she's okay. She's on the ground floor, Gamma Quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then her entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon <coughs> Disc Corner. Easy peasy. Right. I will get the override code. She's to the door of its hinges there. Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. I'm getting closer. <coughs> Okay, so this one was three, three, two, one, two. Et voila. Now Et voila. to get Ada's spare keys. What the hell we've just let through that door though. Now that we know there's things from another time dimension in here. Oh god, here we go. A plus T. Okay, that's gotta be a clue for something. Not a river. Keep getting reminded of that. Is that me? A King. That's got to be... Oh, it can't be Eliza, can it? Eliza starts with an E. <laughs> Aubrey? Oh, a little mice everywhere. Rats. The circle must be broken. God, look at them. What the hell has happened? Yeah, let's move away. It must stink. How was that? Okay, we've got a key for A King. That's not it. A leg, an arm. What's oh, a leg? A Patel, Nielsen. Uh, here we go. What's this? We know what you did. Do what we say, as we say, when we say, or we will make sure your days aboard the Helios are over. We will be in touch. Hmm. That plays a lot of shuffleboard, clearly. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Rest in peace, Eliza. Okay. This is home. The Helios is the only place where I ever truly belonged. This ship accepted me for being me. I cannot put into words what it is like to suffer through life without finding acceptance or kinship. But here aboard the Helios, not only did I find kinship, I found friendship. I found family. 
and now I've destroyed the only family I've ever known. I'm alone. Again. It was never meant to end up here, yet here I am, rope in hand with judgement at my door. I thought the barricade could hold them off, at least for a time. So naive of me. Their clouds came through, unhindered, followed by the screams of my friends. I'm the only one left, alone, again. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. It was just supposed to delay the test. Just a delay, that was all. A delay in exchange for their silence so that I could remain aboard with my friends. Not that it matters in the end. My guilt won't go away, and so the solution won't change. If you can forgive me, I thank you with all my heart. If you can't, I understand and accept your verdict. I am alone, again. It's all my fault. Thing flashing there is that anything? No. Just want to check these other doors because we do have a king. Here we go. Aubrey King. Can't be that many Aubreys on board. Poster of Tesla inside his wardrobe. It's a bit of a strange one. Whiskey on the bed. Dear Professor King, this letter is to inform you that effective May 2nd, you are being demoted from lead researcher of the Weather Tech Department to coordinator of the Maintenance Division. Not having reached sufficient results in the exploitation of the resources granted by Wardenclyffe, the company believes your long-standing knowledge of the Helios will be of better use, ensuring the functioning of the areas designated for the conversion of new energy sources. That's a mouthful. You have the right to appeal this demotion under the Wardenclyffe grievance policy. If you have any questions, meet Linda Kaczynski, Director of Employee Relations. Sincerely, J.C. Sagristani. Employee of the year 1891. He's got Tesla on his mirror. Oof, cockroaches everywhere. have any relevance to anything. Where's that guy gone? What happens if I run into them? Nothing. Shuffleboard. Winner, Eliza. She did have loads of shuffleboard equipment in her wardrobe. Here we go. Over. <laughs> is 
wrong with the people here? Ada owes me so many answers. Okay, let's get on the move here. Uh, I don't even know the actual surname here. I'm looking for Ada Wong, but that is a totally different game. Um, C.F. Brown. Gotta be along here somewhere, right? T. Millet. Ostrog. Hey, Archer, that's us. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is Ada's room, all right. Never did learn to clean her room properly. Oh, she's got her own private bar. She must be uh, high up. Squiggly line thing. Taming a new kind of fire to raise mankind beyond its material limitations. <sighs> you always did dream big, Ada. Oh, I haven't seen this picture in years. We were just kids. Hey, Rose, where are you? I made it to your apartment, and... If we were to make it off the ship alive, I need to understand what's going on. For example, you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here. What does that even mean? My research is about exploiting loopholes in the flow of time. So a future me will write that letter and somehow send it back in time to get you here on the... Helios. Holy shit! And I think I know how! Listen, Rose, I need you to grab me some very important research. There's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it? You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun! So, center stage. I'm guessing... Well, this rug, look at that. What the hell is that? Set this here. Yeah, right, okay, let's. I think I've got it, finally. Okay, so the little. It's not a hexagon, I don't know what it is, but it's got a. Two squiggly little lines on it. Okay, uh, where were the others? One here. describe it as really but like a fire flame something pyramid oh hang on is this meant to be like earth wind fire where's the fourth one gone through here was it not meant to be. Right, okay. Let's uh, get this back over here.
took quite a while. Come aboard the Helios. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. <laughs> nice little Die Hard reference there. Get together, have a few laughs. Now I know what a TV dinner sounds like. No, oh, sounds like I've messed it up. Feels like no. <laughs> Balls it up. Uh, right. So this is it? This is the research that will allow the letter to go back in time? Mm. I thought it would be thicker? How's it going? Pretty good. Although I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well... You've got massless gnome vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine. I promise. But now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll... What the... Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose... Rose, can you hear me? Ada! Piece of shit receiver. Okay, so are we, what, headed to the bio labs now? Are we? Not entirely certain. Have to find out what's blocking the transmission. Jacko, some of us here actually prefer to sleep during the night. I'm not saying you should stop sneaking your lady friend in your apartment, but for the love of all things holy, please soundproof your room, your sleepless neighbours. Is there a note on this door here too? There is. Anne, we waited as long as we could for you, but it's not safe anymore. We've locked everything and moving out with some people from Sigma and Delta. Meet us in the garden as soon as you can. Don't wait, just go. Thomas. Okay, nice. Hello? Ah, our late arrival. A pleasure to finally speak to you, my dear. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Nikola Tesla. I know who you are. Now go away so I can speak to my sister. I am afraid that won't be possible. As I'm sure you are aware, the Helios is under strict quarantine, and for that quarantine to be effective, I cannot have you and lead researcher Archer be opening containment doors all over this ship. The damage already caused is severe. I cannot allow you to make it worse. Therefore, the both of you must remain at your current locations until this situation is resolved. You are locking us up? We will be sitting ducks for whatever is out there. Rest assured that I am doing everything that I can to remedy this situation. Right. How's that working out, huh? A ship full of dead scientists. The great Helios falling apart at the seams. Where's your unlimited energy now? <sighs> Coward. A Ada, 
Are you okay? Ada. Hey, hi. Me again. Oh. It's you. Great. First I get trapped. Now this. Trapped? You too? Just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Find a good clean corner that isn't tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <coughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? My situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Family first and all that. But I've got family too, you know. And I'm still trapped. Help me, and I'll help you. Okay, Aubrey. Deal. Help me get to my sister, and we will come to get you too. I promise. Scout's on. Sorry, so sorry. My bad. I might have sent a bit too much juice down the power lines. I'll be back in a minute. Just going to run some diagnostics and high five Benny. I think his arms should still be around here somewhere. Sounds good. Nice work, Aubrey. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, but now what? Find super. Oh god, I think it's. Thinks that I haven't done that bit yet. Can you believe? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Skip the Alpha quarters and find Ada. Right, there we go. A bit of a delay. To the train station, perhaps? Guy chasing us. Oh, oh, hang on. Who goes there? Oh, Stop! No. Run. Hey. 
Let me start the symbol again. Swing left. Oh. I've got it. At the far end of the base station. At the far end. Last way card. Jump into the last card at the far oh, jump, end jump, of jump. the station. Go! The last rail card at the far end of the station. Where the hell is it? Oh, the lights have gone off. Uh, uh this way. My goodness. You, you are fine. Oh, he knows our name. Go, 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 go. Get in. Oh, no. Oh, God. You can't run from time, Rose. I will have my revenge. You will pay for what you did. <laughs> you made it. Wow. What a sprint! I told you, Benny, she can run! Damn! Hey, it's Aubrey. Anything from your sister yet? No. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So, is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he didn't know your name. So he must be somewhat aware of what is... Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the car! I'm trying! I'm trying! Aubrey. Where the hell are we meant to go here? Out the window, surely. Come on. Jump! Jump, jump. Rose! I jump where, man? Oh, that shit. Yes. Thanks, Aubrey. I could have gone bad. A second later, and... Yeah. So, where am I? I've got some good news. And some bad news. What do you want first? Bad news first. Always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the bio Labs. But that obviously won't happen. The good news is, I know exactly where you need to go to get there. Also, I can provide you with this. A light at the end of the tunnel! <laughs> you get it. A light at the... <laughs> anyway, dust. Follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go towards the light. Ha! Great. I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Benny? I told you she'd get it. Go towards the light. <laughs> Okay, into the water, I guess. What the hell's in there waiting for us? Oh, it's not. No. <laughs> I thought we'd be swimming. It's about ankle deep. There's no crouch button. You just gotta click when you actually get to anywhere you need to crouch. It's a little bit strange. It looks really good. The fire effects. Uh, well, this looks safe. Let's go this way. Yeah. Okay. Anything uh, 
secret wise for us over here. Or collectible as it's called. Nothing. Okay. So we're probably gonna have to do something with this fire because if we go down there, unless we crouch. Oh there's a body here. Look at that. Grim. Ah, so called. Turn the fire off, yep. I mean, surely that would just burn you, that molten metal like that. She landed on it as well when she jumped out the thing. Probably my fault, to be fair. Didn't realise I had to jump out that door to the last second. It is dark in some parts. Rose, you made it! Aubrey! Yeah! I'm at the station. Where do I go from here? You're at the tech labs. I've already rerouted power to the section you're about to enter. I took the liberty of overloading a few select doors to help guide you towards the biolabs. Simply go with the flow. But bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? Well, it's probably not good. So, you know, hold your nose. Benny smelled while he was alive, but let me tell you, decomposing flesh has a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? I'm using my best friend's dismembered arm as a back scratcher. Of course, I'm not okay. Just continue through the tech labs. I'll be back in a bit. Huh. Aubrey's absolutely insane, clearly. Frank, what the hell? Carts 42, 12 and 77 are accidents just waiting to happen. Hardware failures range from cracked brake plates to unmatched door hinges. Have you been drinking again? Be in my office at 10.30 tomorrow. If you show up drunk, I will drown you myself. I'm done protecting you. Arthur Harris. And there's that little logo that we keep seeing as well. Looks like, is it the Treyarch? Treyarch logo? Don't they do Call of Duty? I might be wrong. Just looks familiar. Someone's been crushed. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. What? Oh, it froze there. What the hell happened then? That was weird. He's been impaled. God. More blood. Thunder and lightning without rain. Interesting. Nothing along this way. Let's get in the lift. Bodies, there's bodies everywhere. Uh, anything along here for us? Nope. People. So where are we now? You are here. 
here. No. Gone quite away. These ghostly visions give me the creeps. How bad do you have to screw up your time experiment for the past to become visible in the present? Exo leak. Do not enter. Evacuate through the tunnels. So we're doing the complete opposite of what we've been told here. Course of Empire. Exo leak. Do not enter. Again. Catching up with these guys running upstairs. Stunt. Fix this. From no one to no one. You can fix this. Not likely. Is that aimed at us? Laboratory. What do you mean, we've made time bleed? First off, we haven't done shit. <laughs> this messes on you lot in fizz step. Especially those tosses in dimensional physics. Ungrateful glory hunters. It's thanks to you we've got exo alarms every other hour. It's clear the quarantine isn't working and people are pissed. Clean this up so we can get back to what? And then they were shot or whatever. So that's nothing over there. Lighting looks really good. Jesus, my heart just skipped a bit there. When that steam lifted up the first time I saw it there, I thought it was like a, a back hatching up or some kind of creature. <laughs> Let's get in this door. To Ooh, what's that noise? Into the lab. The hell was that? 210, weather tech. This guy. So, sabotage triggered a quarantine that didn't manage to contain the danger. Fine, but there are too many bodies for one stab crazy psycho. I'm still missing something. It must be whatever's coming back through time, killing everyone. Death ray blueprint. Everybody wants a death ray, surely. What have I missed? My stuff here. Letters, parcels. Alan, the guys in Sectep haven't been able to crack it. I told you... Sorry, I told them you might give it a go. I suspect it's a Caesar cipher with symbol substitution. Let me know if you can break it, Steve. Or Kaiser. She played New Vegas. What's it? Same thing? Surely not. No, there we go. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, God. Is that what we have to crack? Surely not. brain doesn't work that way. I won't be able to do that. Okay, let's keep moving. What the hell? in there. Oh 
How's it going, Rosie? And what the devil is that terrible noise? Uh, yeah, about that. Could you unpower this lightning machine ahead of me? Ah, okay, I see what the problem is, but... Sorry, Rose, it isn't responding to my commands. Great. So what do I do? The thing you do best, my dear, you run. Just this time, avoiding the bowls of electricity at the same time. Isn't there a way to turn this thing off from in here, then? I was getting to that. On the bottom floor, there are emergency overrides. There are two panels. You will have to enable them both. That should calm the sucker right down. I'll check back in a bit, Rosie. This noise is giving Benny a headache. He is certifiably insane, clearly. Right. Oh, it just seems to be attracted to that thing there for now. Uh, let's go here. Am I getting this gap? No. Bollocks. Oh, hang on, just go in a cycle. Yeah, just here. Run. Ooh, that's close. The other one's in the corner. Oh, go, 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 go. Ooh, that was close, that one. Going out. Got to have done it, hasn't it? Yeah. Good. Let's quickly check out what's up here before we leave. Slow climbing this ladder. God. Clubs. Okay. More bodies. Something. What the hell? What was that? Well, look at that dive suit. Oh, if it's a dive suit, not a bloody robot about to come out of the hatch or whatever. Weather tech again. Dead guy. X-ray machine. Clean assembly weather tech. Anything in there? Can't see it. Oh! Hey! What on earth? Stop! Oh, what's he done? Is he just set us up? Got all this here. I'm, I'm fine. W what happened? I've been worried sick. My transmissions were being jammed, but I found a way around it. I assume Nicola got you locked up too. Yeah, but I got out. I'm almost at the biolabs. You're still there, right? Wait, you got out of the lockdown? How? I got help from that Aubrey guy. He's trapped too. And he saved my life, so we need to get him before we leave. I promised him. Of course, of course we will. But first, the research. They hold the keys to everything. Right. Did you manage to get the other half? No, it's in the theater. We'll pick it up together right after you. Now, this god surgery. Of all the places to get locked up. 
You're losing your signal again. Ada. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Was that, there was a hell of a fight here. Oh, it's saving. Something's going to happen. I've got my finger over the run button here. Oh, what they all do? Break room. Oh my god, look at all that. <laughs> the right thing to do. Something's going on. Just lock yourself in the toilet. You'll be fine. Oh, hang on. What the hell? Oh my god. No one in, no one out. Those are the rules. Maintain the quarantine until help arrives. That's the directive and everyone died because of it. I kept the code secret when Sophie asked to leave after the first day. I kept the code secret when Professor Santos demanded to enter during the second day. I kept the code secret when the anomaly killed everyone on the third day. I'll keep it secret no longer. 32122. Whoever finds this, may you die at peace far from here. Alan Tugnir. So 32122. I'll keep that for you. Yeah. But he's had his throat slit, like knives stuck in his stomach. Is that the dude that was chasing us? Can't remember his name, Ludwig. Is this something for the cord? Oh no, it's just some lights. <laughs> so I had to tap him. This is crazy, all these. Look at this. Something really bad has happened. Is this the... Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, three, two, one, two, two, if I remember rightly. Three, two, one, two, two. Oh, look at all this blue stuff. Okay, I'm frozen again. What is that sound? Weather tech. Oh, look. Blue fog. What happens if we step into it? What the hell? Oh, don't tell me this is some kind of puzzle here. They are unaware of our presence. Who are? I feel like I need to be avoiding this blue stuff. Steve, I've got some partial and complete deciphers. Something big is about to go down. Edison has active agents here. I'm keeping the clean copies in my safe. Meet me as soon as you get this. Not if I'm Mr. T. I think he'll want to see this. I pity the fool. Someone has been deciphering the Edison spy code. Did Tesla know he had saboteurs on board? Ah, oh, look, Edison. Death ray thing. Don't know what that noise was. 
another one. Is it me? Oh, I think it's me kicking the bin. <laughs> Panicking myself. Anything in here of interest? Earthquake machine, well... What's that? Smoothie maker? Something's ripped. Oh, fucking hell. Whew. Oh man, that, I don't know why. <laughs> that one got me, that. Okay, we're going to have to get into the blue stuff. What the hell? Lecture hall. Hmm. Lightning energy harvesting machine. Open this door here. Oh, more blue stuff. Wow. Are you guessing that blue haze is the reason for the quarantine? Exo, or whatever they call it? Can we get in this door as well? Deck, oh, deck access. Oh, no, we can't. That's a shame. Well, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. That was close. Mommy. That was close. What is it? Is it gone? What the hell was that? That idea was one of the temporal anomalies. That thing is related to time. How does that make any sense? Think of time as a biological system. These things are merely antibodies cleaning up the mess. Us. How did you know? How did you know to close the door? Well, they aren't exactly subtle. Wherever exotic energy goes, they follow. Not that hard to track if you know what you're doing. <laughs> but three times I owe you. Thanks, Aubrey. So, do you know where the biotech resistance is at? Yeah. She's in a surgery room. Am I close? I will, Aubrey. Thank you again. Carefully continue, it said there, so I don't know if I'm going to have to sneak a little bit around here. Don't want to stand on that glass there. Look at that in there. 
Nice. So that thing is hunting everyone on board now. Including me. Jesus Christ, look at all the bodies. Can we get in here? I think there's definitely more to Aubrey that we're going to find out. He knew where, how to close that door, not buying his excuse about tracking the energy. Oh, don't turn around. I'll come back to life or anything like that. Ah, helicopter. Maggie. As I've already told you, just because I work in FISTEP, 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 doesn't mean I understand the methods of lead researcher Archer. Yes, I get that we all would like to conquer new scientific territory as fast as she has, but there's really no one aboard this ship that even come close to matching her drive. Her mathematical work alone in creating infinite time loops by exploiting dimensional resonance is revolutionary, and that doesn't even touch her engineering input in building the core generator. Honestly, if you're so eager to learn her methods, just buy a lunch or something. I hear she's actually quite nice. Fair enough. Stop on a chat. Blue stuff. Oh, Jesus, man. Honestly. Oh, that got me again. All the blue stuff. So, see any blue stuff? Oh my god, look at this guy. Wow. I see I'm stuck here. See any blue stuff? Avoid it basically because I'm going to see one of them things. Animal experimentation, weather control, time manipulation. Is there any research they didn't do here? You can absolutely believe this. Somebody, probably America, China, doing uh, weather manipulation research. Oh god, I'm gonna get in another chase scene here. Oh, hang on. Come on, over. She looks calm. Fucking thing! Hey, language. Rose! Oh my god. My big sister is here. My big sister is here. Yes, she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on, how do I get to you? There's a door on your right, short corridor, stairwell. You can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? Uh, I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I, I... I can't. Rose... I... I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. 
but I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together, they hold the keys to everything. You can fix it. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. Are you there? Come in, Rose. Come on, Rose. Answer me. Rose. It's now or never, Rose. They're coming. I'm running out of doors to close. I don't care. She's gone, Aubrey. I was too late. But she's gone. Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on. Get up and get out. The left side door. Go! That was grim, wasn't it? I thought she was going to literally come through the glass there. Let's get out with the... Avoid these things. Good. Continue oh. towards the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... But you said... You promised. I know, Aubrey. I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. I understand. Where do you need to go? The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department door open while I work out how to get you to the theater. I'll be right back. Our expansion into the sectors previously occupied by the weather department is taking longer than expected. This means that we henceforth have to be very economical with how we install our existing equipment. I'm aware that the weather department is taking their sweet time to pack up, but I remind you all to be patient and graceful during this process as we will require their assistance later this year with power distribution. New equipment shipments will be arriving within the week, and since we are still in transition, storage will become an issue. My office is always open, so if you have any suggestions or solutions, please come by and share your proposals. Keep up the good work. Oh, it's from our sister. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. This is ground zero where it all began. Turns out the fire we lit just kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> you had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on. Hit me! <coughs> you see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. 
you'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. <sighs> okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up. <laughs> It's come to my attention that an altercation between members of the physics department and the weather department occurred yesterday evening. I am also told that all injuries appear to have been minor. I do not know what shames me more, the fact that members of my own department would stoop to violence when challenged, or the fact that none of you appear to even know how to throw a proper punch. Make no mistake about it, this was the first and the last altercation that will take place aboard the Helios under my watch as lead researcher. I will personally throw the next one of you tough guy or girl into the Atlantic myself. Do not test me. The personnel involved in yesterday's scuffle will be given disciplinary tasks so that the rest of you, who know how to behave, can expect the toilets to be sparkling the next three weeks. Hard taskmaster, Ada. Do not open the car, leave it sealed. Access code 11223. One one two two three, okay. Where the hell am I going? In here? Surely not. No. Let's go into the car. I literally, I've forgotten the code already. Uh, how the hell do I find it? There's just loads of this blue stuff here. We'll just literally you know, have another chase scene or something. Where the hell do I go? Down here. Aubrey! Hang, hang on! Aubrey! Rosie! You're back! 
Wait! I was just telling Benny here. The theater, Aubrey. How do I get to it? You said there was an elevator? Of course. It's right up ahead. Bringing it to you now. What do you need to do there, anyway? I need to find a notebook. Rose. I can confess how so you feel. And you have my sincere sympathies. But I've saved your life a handful of times already. I think I've earned to know what this is about. Right, Aubrey. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a notebook that my sister hid somewhere in the theater. It contained her new research, and I promised her I'd guard it. The entire ship recognized her brilliance. is here, Rose. Whenever you're ready. Get more and more suspicious about Aubrey. Don't know why. where this notebook might be hidden. It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? Oh. That's just the lobby. Wait <laughs> until you see the auditorium. I leave you to search while I resolve some issues with the weather tech devices. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. Macbeth. Frankenstein. Hmm. Looks stunning this, like, look at this. Just head over to the bar here. Anything here yet? Nope. Can we get around the back there? Anything for us to pick up? I'd be able to. Oh, there's that symbol again. I wonder what the relevance is of it. I'd be having a drink by now, me, after all this. I'll just take five minutes to try and compose myself. I am terribly sorry that Tower of Graves demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the helium. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best for last years, the Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? By all means. So in we go to the theater. incredible as well, doesn't it? What an unbelievable setting. Oh. This, Miss Archers, is the Helios Grand Theater. Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful line of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony, from where you'll be able to watch them all. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, go me Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip with interest in this. Come now, let me show you the view. Of course, of course, of course. A private balcony. Would you hide your research there, Ada? How does this ship even float? It's all marble. 
Watch it. Such an honor to perform aboard the Helios, thank you. L Ludovica, Ludovica. Always wanted to see her perform. Oh no, blue stuff. That's no good, we're going to have to skirt along the wall. Move! From there, it was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You have a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best. Dear Diary, today Michael mixed up our beer bottles and drank from mine. I told him about the mistake and we laughed about it. If he does it again, I'll fucking stomp on his throat till his windpipe is clogged as the Helios toilets. He's a good guy though, and he smells nice, like lavender and fish. What a mixture. What the hell? I don't want to smell like fish. Oh, we're going to go across here, are we? Uh-oh. What's it? God. Ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are onto something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. Let me think of another chairs, probably. That seems to be the most immediate. Oh Christ! Oh, is it? Oh, too many. Is that it? Not here. Not here. Oh, come on. There's 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 a secret room in my room. You find it while well, I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it. You're just going to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun! Huh. Center stage. Holy shit! Ada, I hear you! And it's lit up for us as well. Let's go. I wonder what we're hearing, is it? Like, well, obviously that's a memory, but it was coming through the radio, so how the hell is that happening? I've just said to be fair.
a little moment where it's frozen there. It's strange. All right, center stage. How do I get up there? Super secret research. Where would I hide? I gotta say that is really not that actually well hidden, is it? To be fair. Oh no way. Oh. Get moving. Get moving. Do you remember me, Rose? Do you remember what you said? One way. Oh no. Oh, I didn't read that properly. This is all your fault. Jump. Go. Oh, Christ. Shit. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Escape. Uh, just stop. Oh my god! Who's done that? Oh Christ. What am I? Oh, we're crouching. I didn't realise. Why won't it let me go anywhere? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Christ, it's done. Still coming and shouting at us. She is here now. We have to knock these over and alert him. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Here? Shit. Okay, let's go back this way. Can't be this way. God, it's just coming through the wall. Where do I go? Please. Oh my God. Jesus. Fancy getting that bloody stuck there. I'm missing that. For us here when we get out. This is too slow for my liking. Come on. Jesus, Rose. Come over. <laughs> the end. Joke this like. Table possessed still. Every time I've run past this table about four times now. Possessed every time. Make your peace. I don't know where it wants me to go. It keeps telling me to go that way, but I cannot. This is the only way I can go, and I keep getting caught every single time. We have my life. Down here. 
Bio toxin. <laughs> He's at my life. Is it you? You sound terrible. Aubrey, where the hell have you been? I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did. Right? Right? Yes, Aubrey. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. Wow, one piece of great news after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator here, but I can't really tell. It's too dark. Aha, not a problem. Pay attention to the lights around you and let me know when they start blinking. All right? Sure. Can I love you? Anything yet? No, nothing. Wait! Oh. Now! Aubrey, now! Oh, that's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good of my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Wait, let me get the doors. Oh, God oh, oh, oh. damn it. What's wrong? There's... Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... It's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. <sighs> one leaf in... One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. 